Alright guys, welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Today we are going to continue following the Stanley Parable Adventure Line, which will hopefully lead us... Yeah, Stanley, I say forget the Adventure what? Line. What's it ever done for us? Did We're I trigger that? people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? <gasps> Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Yes! Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. It does! Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay, let's go this way. God, I like this guy. He sounds so excited. Now, yes, this is exciting. It is. Just me and Stanley forging a new path. A new path. A new story. Well, a new story. What do you want our story to be? Yes. Go wild. Why are we just walking Use in a circle? Use your imagination. Whatever what the it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh. Okay, now it's not a circle anymore. God, what do I want our story to be? It should involve dragons. Dragons and princesses. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, Ooh. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Okay. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Sure, although it is a neat line. Look at that. It goes, like, up the wall and down the wall and up the wall and down the wall and on the ceiling. Neat. Oh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's running away. Hmm, okay. Fine, we don't need the line. We have, we have an empty room. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Ooh. From here, the story is in our control. It is. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. This is fact, true. I believe okay. I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door uh -huh. that's here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door. Wait, what origin. happens if I go the other so way? starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door Nothing. lead us to where we're going? Hmm. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Okay. Another victory for logic. Yes. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. It awaits on the right. Oh, I was going to go the other way. Okay, sure. The confusion ending. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. 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 16 confusion minutes, 18, ending. 19 seconds. You're telling hmm. me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game oh. eight, eight times? That's, That's cool. Really how all this goes? It's all determined. That's everything we did. So now, according to the schedule, <laughs> I restart again. Nonsense, philosophy, and music. Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why Wait. I get a say in all of this. Is it really fifth restart? No, it can't be. I. I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. But can we do it? And the time return stopped? What? Does that mean... Um, did, did you just break it? the game? Did we break the cycle? No, did I didn't do it. Whatever it is that made this schedule, how would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I would. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Right. They're always saying that life is about the journey it and is. not the destination. That's true. So I hope that's where we are right now. Yes. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Eventually. Well, in the meantime... If what? Oh. Did the game just... The game restarted on its own. It like, it vetoed the narrator. Oh, that's neat, okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? So wait, is this Stanley an actual restart? Or a he fake one? Mr. Memo. What is that? Oh, I just, I didn't know I could turn that off. That's cool. What is this? Awaiting input, input received. Oh wait, I can, I can, I can receive and put input. I didn't know I could do that. Why haven't I been doing this the whole time? 
Oh my god, can I turn that one on? No, okay, if they're off, I can't do anything. Wow, you learn something new every day. All right, so what are we going to do this time? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, to the right. We'll go this to the right again. The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge Ooh, first, just to admire it. No. Can I open any of these? No, I can't. Oh, I want to go in there. Oh, look, there's a line. I wonder if that's our line. Okay, uh, we keep going this way. Employee lounge, lounge was of course. Sublime. A work of art. Yes. What was it about this room, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay. I think we've already done everything over there, so let's go this way. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Did we do everything down there? I don't remember. But we're gonna assume we have, because we haven't gone this way. Okay, now can we go this way? We can. Alright, we're going to the left, and that leads us here. To a door we cannot open. Can we open this? No. Well, that's not much of a decision. We can't even go that way. All right, well, what happens over here? Yet there was not a single person here oh, It's the meeting room. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yes, okay, to the boss's office. Can we go that way? Broom closet, I forgot about that. But there's nothing in here. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and right. got back okay. on track. Right, okay. We already did that part. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What happens if we go downstairs? Is there only one option down here? We've already done this, but I don't remember. Okay, we should not go down there. I think we already did that. Hmm, okay, well let's go up here, and maybe there's something new. I don't think we've been up here. Oh, look at that. Well, that's neat. It's red. Executive bathroom. I cannot open that, but I really want to. Hmm, what is this? That is a computer that is off. What is that? What's the green thing? Business time. Oh, it's like a magazine. Okay, can I open this? No. God, I really can't do too much in here, can I? And it is really dark. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Hmm. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. Right? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so okay. the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. Hmm. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Right. Oh, I see. Oh, I have a cursor. Two, eight. Stanley what if we do the wrong one? I'm twiddling his thumbs. What if we Trying do the wrong to thing? Anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two, eight, four, five. One, two, three, four. Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well two, eight, four, five. <laughs> um, five, four, eight, two. No. Okay. What about two, eight? Four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to import oh my God. the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He what? stepped into the newly opened passageway. What is this? I don't remember this. And why did the windows close? Oh, I get it, because it's super secret. Okay. Um, can I go this way? No, that looks like pitch black. Looks like we're going down. Okay, creepy elevator. Not sure I trust this very much. Okay, so this is all new. That's exciting. I wasn't sure how much longer the story carried on, but this could be quite a long game. 
Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I did? It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Ooh, that's dangerous. He feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him. This oh. question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Uh. Oh, we have some light. Where the hell are we? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. If light is on, call extension 914 immediately. Okay, well, let's go to the Mind Control Facility. Oh, there's an escape! I want to go to the escape first. That sounds like fun. What Although happens this, this way? had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh. Okay. Then, um, then we're gonna save first. I saved, right? Yep, I did. Okay. Um, well, let's keep going. The worst that'll happen is we die. Then we'll have to load, but that should be fine. Wow, this is a really long passage. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, what's that little red point, light? Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yes, I'm not afraid. What the hell is that? I'm not sure I want to go down there. Well, in the name of science, let's see what happens. Did I die? No. What? As the machine whirred into motion, Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. Oh my god! He that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. I can't see a damn Stanley thing, but I see giant paddles. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss. Uh huh. The eyeballs from a blind man. Oh my so god. Designed and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Oh my god. Are we gonna die? Um. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Who are you? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. <gasps> what? Um. What? Your machine broke, lady. What is this? The Stanley Parable. Um. Okay. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, what is that? Is that an elevator? No. That looks like a mezzanine. No, it's a walkway? It's the credits. Every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance. Whoa, 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 Death whoa, whoa, whoa. becomes meaningless, making life the same. What? Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? He was? It's a map. Nature paintings. Oh, there's a leaf. And a mountain. And a mountain. And a mountain. And a, a path. And an ocean. And an ocean. Stanley's computer. Wow, okay, office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. Huh, is this for real the end of the game? I see the credits. 
corridor. Placing The placing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Filing cabinets. Ooh. Neat. Okay, and then what is this? This is just a computer. Okay. The office. I cannot open that. I cannot open that. I cannot open that. Okay. Button sounds. Ooh. Ooh. Uh-huh. Neat. Oh, that's a nice one. I think we're going to need to do more stuff. Countdown desk. Exit. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Uh. Okay. We have two options. Well, we only have one option. It's on, and we can turn it off. What happens if we turn it off? Can you see? No. Can you see how much they need one another? No. It's pitch black. Not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. That was... Listen to me. Wait, you can what? still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Oh my god. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Oh. 